focus of our discussion today is on reverse mortgage. Reverse mortgage is a very important topic, but one that is not widely understood by our seniors. The goal of Senior Care on TV is to provide you with information necessary to enhance a dignified and independent old age lifestyle. With me today is Mr. Rocco Banzano, a reverse mortgage specialist. Welcome, Mr. Banzano. My pleasure to be here today. Thank you. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been in the reverse mortgage industry. My name is uh, Rocco Balzano, as um, Margaret mentioned. Um, I've been in the reverse mortgage business for the last 20 years. Um, I do forward mortgages, reverse mortgages, commercial mortgages, but mostly um, my expertise is in reverse mortgages. Um, my company was started in about in 1994, and um, actually I've been in this building. I'm the oldest tenant in this building. I've been here since 1994. Um, my goal is to um, inform senior citizens of um, in informing them and giving them knowledge that they need to know about reverse mortgages. Um, reverse mortgages are a great tool, but not necessarily for everyone. So um, our goal today is to, uh, as Margaret mentioned, to inform you about um, whether a reverse mortgage is right for you or not. So what actually is reverse mortgage? Good question. A reverse mortgage is different than a regular mortgage that you would take out on your home and you were buying your house um, in that when you take out a reverse mortgage, you never make a mortgage payment. On a, on a forward mortgage, on a regular mortgage, you make a monthly payment to the bank every month. But on a reverse mortgage, you never make a payment. What you can do on a reverse mortgage is set it up so the bank actually pays you, or you can get a lump sum of money from the reverse. Or you can do a combination of um, monthly cash to you every month, uh, every month uh, from a check, and you can do a lump sum. So you can combine things together on a reverse mortgage. So, um, who, so is, um, who is eligible for re uh, reverse mortgage? You need to be 62 years old, you need to live in your home, and you need to obviously own the home to be able to do a reverse mortgage. Okay, so uh, you did mention that you know, with reverse mortgage, you don't have to make a monthly payment, and the bank right. is paying me. Right. That's, wow, that's, that that's, sounds great. It's, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a great tool for the right situation. So let, let's just say, for example, you have a mortgage right now, okay. and you can't pay it anymore. You, you've lost your job, you're, you're, you, you've retired, you, your pension is very low, your Social Security is not enough money. A reverse mortgage, you can pay off the current mortgage you have now, and in some instances even get money back. In other words, if let's say you, you pay your mortgage off, there's, if there's enough equity and you're old enough, you can actually receive a check every month. Oh, okay. So you have to be 65? You have to be 62. 62, 62 years old. Okay. And the, the, the younger you are, the less money you're going to get because of the structure of reverse mortgage. Oh, okay. Okay. Because of the structure. Because of the way reverse is structured. Okay. If, if you were 62 versus 80, the person that's 80 is going to be able to get more money out of their house. Oh, okay. Because their lifespan is unfortunately Shorter. not going to be as long as a person who is 62. Okay. So, so the equity will be eaten up faster, faster on a younger person than it would oh, an older okay. person. So with reverse mortgage, you get the money for life? You, you can. That's a very good question. You can structure it many different ways. Okay. If you're 90 years old and you think you're going to live to 100, you can set it up so that you can get a check for the next 10 years till you're 100 years old. Or if if you are if you want to set it up for the next five years, depending on your age, you can structure it for the amount of ter for the term that you want to structure. So what if, for example, I set it up to last for like 10 years? Okay. You know, anticipating I'm going to be 100 years old. But then I live past 100, maybe to okay. 120, so well, where does that leave me? I, I hope you do live past 100, <laughs> and if that, if that happens, you, you can either, you can redo the reverse board, you can set it up again, you can oh, start okay. it again. Okay. But we try not to let that happen. Okay. We try and set it up so that, you know, we're gonna, we have a good idea of how much long you're going to live. And that's, that's, that's the I mean, how do you make that determination? Well, it's a very hard determination to make, but... I'm, I'm not going to let an 80-year-old person do a five-year term. I'm going okay. to let you do, if you're 80, I'm going to try, try and talk you into going to 95. Ultimately, it's always your decision, okay. but I'm going to try and make it so that there's enough time left so that the, the, uh, the reverse mortgage 
is, is there for you for the rest of your life. Uh, okay, I mean, right now, there seems to be an increase in the number of centenarians. That means those people that are living over right. the age of 100, yeah. and we anticipate to see more of that. I mean, that is like, well, because people are living healthier absolutely. and longer. I mean, the, the, so, but that still work for the reverse mortgage company? I mean, it, it, uh, yes. I mean, they're obligated to provide them with the income or whatever you call it until they die. Exactly that is right. The so you right. die, or you can also sell the house if you want to. If you sell the house, okay. you can just pay off the reverse mortgage. Oh, so you then don't I have to have keep it forever. You can sell the house, or you know, if if you go into a retirement home or something like that, and maybe you have children you want to leave the house to, you can also do that, and they can sell the house. Oh, okay. Now, so with both reverse, of, if both if both if there's two people in the household and they both pass away, then it, it would go to their children. If that's the way they set it up. Oh, okay. So th there are a lot of options when you set there up. There certainly are options, and and the bank is not going to throw anybody out of the house. Uh, they, they they do tell you you have six months to sell the house after after the person passes away. The children will have six months to sell the to house. Sell and um, you know, so that's 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 something you have to structure properly. Is it backed up by the government? And it, it, it's a government insured program? loan. Yes, oh, it okay. is a government insured loan. Okay. Is there it's a an FHA loan? Okay. Is there a minimum income level? Or credit level? Well, that's, that's, your... that's a good question. The nice thing about a reverse mortgage is um, you, don't have to, you don't have to have a certain amount of income. It, under the new structured rules that just came out in January, what they want you to be able to do is to pay your real estate tax. You want to have enough income to be able to pay your real estate taxes and your insurance. So they are starting to look at that in the, in the going forward. They're, oh, looking okay. at, they're looking at that. But you don't need to have an income. Um, other than what you need to pay your real, because you still have to pay your own real estate taxes. Even okay. though you don't have a mortgage payment, you still, still need to pay your real estate taxes and you still need to pay your homeowner's insurance. Oh, okay. So are there monthly payments involved? In, uh, you don't make a payment on a reverse mortgage. That's, that's the nice thing about it. You never make a payment. Okay, so you, you leave can it. if you want, but there, I see no reason why you would. So how are the payouts structured if you want to pay out? Okay. What you can do, there's three options. You can... Um, you can get a lump sum of money. Let's say, you, you know, you just need money to do home repairs and you want a lump sum of money, you can do that. Let's say you just want to eliminate your mortgage, you can do that, so you'll never have another mortgage payment. Or, we can set it up so that you have a monthly income stream. We can set up so that you get money every single month coming to you. Okay, will the bank ever own the house? The bank won't own the house. They uh, do? No, the bank will never own the house. You okay. always own the house as long as you stay in the house, as long as you reside there. The, okay. you're not, the bank's not going to own the house. Okay. Um, and um, you know, as, as long as they, you know, you can show that you're still living there and you're paying your taxes and insurance, you're you're, you're good to stay as long as um, as long as you want. Okay, but you said something about um, you know you're not required to make any monthly payment. Right. The only requirement is you must have uh, income that shows that you'll be um, um, you'll, you'll be able to afford the uh, the taxes and, and the, the insurance. insurance. Which so which probably amounts to you probably making you know eight eight or nine thousand dollars a year, which most people do. Yeah, you know. but if you're not, that means the money from there maybe uh, retirement or. You can use retirement money, sure. You can oh, use pension, okay. you can use Social Security, any of that is, is considered income on a okay. reverse mortgage. As, soon as, as long as you prove, there is a proof that you can make right. it. It never used to be that way, but the new laws coming around the corner are looking at making sure people can afford the tax and the insurance, because oh, they don't okay. want to kick anybody out of the house. So that's oh, okay. not their goal. So now, if the option is to uh, receive um, payment, Right. From the mortgage, uh, what is the typical the typical uh, monthly allowance that? All right. Well, that's a, that's a hard question to answer because it all has to do with your your value of your house, the equity you have in your house, and your age. Okay. It's a formula that okay. that we put together that we don't put together. It's it's a formula that's standard, and let's put it this way: if you were if you were ninety years old, and you have no mortgage on your house, and okay. you want to receive monthly payments, you're going to receive more than someone who's 62 years old and has to pay off a mortgage. Okay. So the more equity and less debt you have, the more monthly income you're going to receive. Okay. And I, I've seen, you know, I have people that are getting up to $3,000 a month. A month. Yes. Okay. And they never, and they, it just, it goes right, if, you know, if you give us a check, 
it goes right into your bank account on a monthly basis. Oh, okay. So um, I was just thinking about, um, you said the age, um, the eligible age is uh, 62. Right. Okay, and that is the age that most people retire. Right. So now, for someone who just retired and they just bought a house, right. and then maybe a few months later, or maybe a year or two later, they decided to go <laughs> with a reverse mortgage, is that possible? Oh, that's, that's, um, that's a very good question, Margaret, because you can actually buy a house with a reverse mortgage and not many people know that. Oh, really? So if you wanted to, let's say you retired and you have and you wanted to buy a house mm -hmm. for a hundred thousand dollars just for an example and you have fifty thousand dollars to put down mm -hmm. you do have to put a large down payment down when you buy a house through a reverse mortgage but you'll never have a mortgage payment Oh, okay so it's not a, it's not it's not a bad way to go wow. so um, and not there aren't a lot of people that realize that you can buy through a reverse if mortgage reverse. yes you can wow, that's, very, that's, that's good to know was that your question I, I don't know if I missed your question if I just Yes, yeah, that was okay. that was my question. Yes, and it, it's um, very interesting. I, I guess um, our viewers, you've learned um, a lot about reverse mortgage, um, what you can do, uh, the choices that you have, you know, to help you, you know, uh, with your um, income. I mean, managing your income, especially those on fixed income. Um, would like to invite uh, Mr. Rocco to our program at another time. But today, I hope you really got something from the little um, uh, information that we're able to provide um, today. If you have any questions or there are other areas that you want us to talk about uh, regarding reverse mortgage, please do not hesitate to let us know. You can email us or give us a call um, on the information that will be available to you on the screen. Um, I thank you, our viewers, for, this, uh, for giving us your time. And thank you, Mr. Rocco. Oh, it's my pleasure. I, and if I could just add one thing. Sure, go ahead. The reverse mortgage is, is a great tool for a lot of people, but it may not be for everyone, just so you understand that. It, it just, it ha each person needs to sit with a specialist and analyze whether it's a good idea for you. I've sat with many people and said, I don't think this is good for you right now. Maybe when you're a little older, but um, maybe down the road it will be a good idea. So, so. so what you're saying is before you come to that uh, conclusion, it's better to seek... Uh, you seek with someone that's been doing it for a long time, long number time. one. Number okay. two, you will have to take a counseling course before you can even fill out any paperwork for reverse mortgage. You need to sit down and you will sit down for a one hour counseling session. Is um, that a requirement? It's, a, it's an absolute requirement. Why, you, you why is that? Because they want to make sure that people know what they're getting into. Oh, okay. They want to make sure that they're not just jumping into something that's not good for them. Oh, they're okay. really protecting the, our seniors today, and it's, and it's a good thing. I'm happy they're doing that. Oh, okay. And um, where do they go for the counseling? Well, when they go to a specialist, the, the specialist has a list of counsel that they're able to go to. So oh, okay. there's, they're, all over the, they're all over the state. Okay. They're all over the country. So... So um, what you're saying is without going through the counseling process, you cannot be eligible or you can't... Um, you will, not be, you able will, not, be able you will not be able to get a reverse mortgage without the counseling. Okay, so that's information yeah. for you. If you're interested in getting a reverse mortgage, you have to, you know, go through... Um, you have to go through a counseling session and then, you know, go through a financial specialist like uh, Mr. Rocco. Thank you once again. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. You're welcome. Oh, this is it today on uh, the uh, reverse uh, mortgage. Uh, if you have any question uh, or you desire to reach us, please give us a call at 866-796-9373. Or you can send, on a, send us an email at info at seniorcareontv.com or on Facebook, Senior Care on TV. Thank you again for watching us, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.